Now, this leads me to an important question. If you've got some event and then the opposite of that event, because these things are meant to cover every single possibility, right? This should be all the things. When I add those two probabilities, what should they add up to? Hold that thought, hold that thought, okay? Let's have a look. Probability of tails on a fair coin is a half, right? Probability of heads on the same coin, it's a half. So half plus half equals one, very good. Uh, let's go to this one here, clubs, clubs. There's one suit out of how many in total? Four. So the probability of getting clubs if I pull out a card is one quarter, one fourth. Probability of the complement of that is gonna be not one quarter, but three quarters. What's a quarter plus three quarters? One. So what do I get every time if I add these probabilities? I presume we're not including the Joker. Yes, I am not including the Joker. Just uh, I always get Jokers out of there because they're just confusing, right? So yes, when we just consider all of our normal cards, our normal coin, a half plus a half, a quarter plus three quarters, we're always getting one, right? And I don't know what the probability of it being sunny today is. Maybe it was like something like 80%. But if I told you that it was 80%, what could you infer that the probability of it not being sunny would be? Yeah. 20%. 20% because they should add up to one. Are you with me? Okay. Can I ask you please to open up to 902? 902 in your textbook, please. Already. Already there. Some people are very prepared, which is fantastic. <coughs> And what I'd like us to do is just look straight at question two. This is 902, question two. Could I get a show of hands? Who's already got it open? Hands up straight. At least one hand should be up, which is Yang's. Anyone else? Christian, you got it? Yeah, who else has got 902 open? Do you have 902 open? Yep, fantastic, hands down. Okay, it's coming up. Thank you, Yang, that's all right. Okay, now here's what I'd like to do, because I um, had this deck of cards with me, right? What I think would be really fun to do is, um, I have a bunch of mathematical card tricks that I like, to, I like to do. So I'd love to show you one, which means that, like my time is 9.54, bell goes at 10.27, 27. So I reckon, if we can do a quick example, you guys can uh, march through the exercise that I'm about to assign questions for, and then I think it'll take me about five minutes to show you a card tree. Does that sound like a good deal? Yeah. Alright, let's go for it. So, we're on question two right now, and I just want us to have a look at this situation and make sure that we understand it and we're writing it in the correct notation. A die is rolled. What's the probability that the result is? And then they give you a bunch of options, okay? So for starters, I'm going to begin with um, this idea here, sample space, right? This is a relatively simple, you know, situation where there's not many different things that can happen. You can list them all out. On a standard die, what's the sample space? Six. Okay, now, I heard the number six. Um, I think what you're telling me is how many things there are possible, right? But that doesn't actually tell me what those events are. Krishan, what would you like to add to that? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And of course, that means the size of the sample space is six, but these are the actual things that can happen, and I need them to answer the questions. Let's have a look at part A. It says, um, what's the probability that the result is a three? So I'm just going to write it like so. P for probability, and then the event that I'm interested in is a three. How many ways can that happen on my die? Just, just one of them, right? Just that one. Hey David, grab a seat. If it's only once, I can then say, and this is where you guys told me before the size of the sample space, there's my favorite little ant, and down the bottom I'll have a six. So this is not complicated. It says, what's the probability of not a three? So I'm going to use my complement notation here. I could write not three, or I can write three with a bar over the top. Right? So this is everything except for that, right? Krishna, what do you think? 
Could you do the equal sign with a line through it? You mean an equal sign with a line through it, like that? So what does this mean? This means is not equal to, right? So I would say like 2 is not equal to 9, right? Whereas this is, it does have a slightly different meaning. Um, it means, well, we're going to work out using this, right? I could work out, oh, sorry, Brav, do you have a question? Ah, uh, yep, it's this idea, it's just a, an extra piece of notation. It literally means not whatever is written there. So in fact, I could write it like this. I could write the same thing as not three, or the complement of three. These are all ways of saying the same thing, okay? Um, I'm interested in all of the other things. Now, what are all the other things? If it's not three, then it can be... One, two, four, five, or six. So how many of those are okay? Five. five of them. And then what's the size of my sample space again? Six. Six. So what we did was we counted up how many different things could happen and were, you know, possible, uh, favorable. And then we said, okay, we'll divide that by the sample space. Now there's a simpler, faster way of doing this that doesn't require us to count everything up. I want you to come back up here with me. Look up here. What I'm saying is the probability of one event and the probability of its complement, what should they add to? They should add it to 1, right? So another way that I could write this is, if they add up to 1, it can be 1 take away the probability of the regular event, the original event, like so. Do you see that? Do you see how this is connected to here? Let me just yeah. jot that down, right? So I could have done this both ways. I could count all of these guys. Whoops, not that one. Sorry. You guys counted that there were five of them, so that's five out of six that are okay. Or you could just say, you know what, I'm just trying to avoid this event. This is the thing I'm trying to not have. So I just say one, there's one, take away this one out of six. Does that make sense? And this is often a faster way to do it. Okay.